Okay, this is Cool Trades in Montreal, and I got 119 coming through St. Anne de Bellevue here at night. It's about 7.45 p.m. So I'm waiting for my EXO train. Uh, there's gonna be a train at 8.08 p.m. So I got about another 20 minutes to wait for that. And as I'm waiting, this came through. I've never actually been here at night, I don't think. Standing on the bridge here at uh, Ancien Combaton, Old Warrior Road, I guess, here in St. Anne de Bellevue. CN tracks are on the on the right, CP on the left. like two regular CP uh, ES44s on the front there. I mean it's kind of hard actually to tell because I was kind of panning and uh, the light wasn't perfect for that. The light is pretty decent now. I don't think it's as good as Dorval though. You just can't beat Dorval for night trains. This it is October 4th, 2023. Summer like weather here in Montreal. Which is really good. Oh, listen to this thing squeal. Squealing around the corner. And it takes the curve onto the bridge. might not be too bad either. Oh, cool. Almost missed it. They're quick and silent. If I wasn't facing that direction, I would have missed it for sure. That makes it a nighttime super one. The Via Rail Siemens train. And this CP. Ooh, here comes the DPU. With CM locomotive. Unusual. Box cars and tankers now. It is fairly unusual to see a CN locomotive on a CP train, but not unheard of.
you know, you have fixed freight, hopper cars, they sew up a lot better. And that's the end of the train there, heading off into this, into the darkness. Here, as you can see, Old Warriors Road with the traffic. Yep, so if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.